to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be covering digital marketing and in particular how to use marketing to grow your business. An introduction about who I am. Uh, I am Hannah Pereira, the director at Pear Tree Marketing. Um, I've spent 10 years in the industry working on sales and marketing with various different brands. Um, and my job basically is to help my clients who are more technophobic to harness the power of digital marketing and get more sales. What we're going to cover today is the marketing funnel. It's important to understand the funnel before we go into the different platforms of marketing. Uh, we're going to cover Instagram and Facebook, generally how to use it, um, also how to create Instagram Reels, um, an introduction to Google Ads, and how to create a website that converts. So this is the marketing funnel. So it starts off with exposure. Um, so this could be done with organic search, uh, paid search using Google ads um, or even um, paid adverts on Facebook and Instagram, social media and referrals. Referrals are definitely extremely powerful um, because it could be one small business helping out another um, and you're more likely to get some clients and it's free. Um, discovery. So once they find your business, you want them to be going on your website and they'll throughout your website that we're learning about your brand and what products and services you have to offer. If they like what you're offering, then it leads to conversion. So you want to make sure that buying your product and service is as easy as possible and that it's a great experience. If they have a great experience throughout all of these steps, then it leads to retention where the customers come back. And that is what you're aiming for. You want your customers to customers to be coming back and shouting about it to all their friends and family. So what we're going to go through now is the awareness and exposure. Um, so you want to make sure that your brand is present on the platform that your ideal customers hang out on. So this may be Instagram, it may be Facebook, it might be that they do Google searches, um, they might be, it might be a B2B customer, so you'll find them on LinkedIn. They may be younger, so you find them on TikTok and Snapchat. You need to really think about where your customers are hanging out. Today, obviously, there's a lot of different platforms. So we're just going to go through Instagram, Google and Facebook. These are the main sort of platforms that people use. So for Instagram, you want to make sure that your Facebook page and your Instagram account are connected. You can do this through Facebook Business Manager. Um, the key features of Instagram are Reels. Reels help you to get a great amount of reach. Um, posts this helps people to discover more about your products and services and gives them incentives to buy videos it can tell a story in a short amount of time and be entertaining stories you can use this to get data about what your customers like or what they don't like and to share updates about the company um, ads this is to reach new audiences um, and to share exciting updates um, and it can be um, very effective in growing your sales hashtags this is how your audience will find your business and influencers on instagram there are a huge number of different influencers um, and there will be one that is right for your business um, so it's definitely worth using them to help with your growth to set up Instagram Reels, there are some hacks for getting more views. You want to make sure that your content is entertaining, number one. Don't do a video of you there talking too much. It's not entertaining and sometimes people won't even have the sound on. Make sure you use transitions that align with the music that you use. Try and keep it short, um, sort of 15 seconds or less, and also um, just make sure you're thinking about what your audience likes to see. Go on to Reels and have a look at what's available on there at the moment and think about what you could do. If you were, for example, a dog groomer, you could have a video of the dog before, zoom in and zoom out and have them afterwards looking all fresh and cute. Um, the other thing you want to think about is using trending music. There is a website called talkboard.com and on there you can find all the trending TikTok music um, and then add that to your 
video. You also want to use 30 hashtags, mostly large size. For a post, you would use smaller ones, um, but with reels, you can actually use the larger ones. Think about the amount of competition there would be for that for that particular hashtag. Um, but yeah, try and use the bigger ones. I'll explain what I mean by that in the next few slides. And then make sure you share to your story to get more views. So here is a video which shows you talk board. You can see here there's a little green triangle and it says the amount that is trending. Um, so you want to go for songs that are lower down on the list um, but have a higher number. Um, that means it's more likely to get shared out. If you are having trouble with getting the songs on your Instagram, it may be that you have a business account. Um, what you can do is go into Reels and save the audio and use that. Um, or you can change your account settings to either become a personal or a creator account, which gives you a little bit more flexibility with the music. There are other hacks and if you would like to know more, please do schedule a call with me. Now when I mentioned the hashtags, um, this is an example of a very small one, Bakery Kent, you can see it has 100 posts. Kent Baker has 16.1k, so that would be a medium one. And then if we type in Baker, 4.1 million, that is a really big one. You don't want to go for ones that are too big because of the amount of competition, but you can use uh, sort of 1 million. Um, for your reels and then again for your posts you need to make sure that the size of the hashtags you're using are relevant to the size of your account so think about how much engagement you get already and use something similar so that you're not competing too much as your account grows you can start to use larger hashtags your posts, so reels, they are for increasing reach, um, but posts are to get the traffic into your website. You want to be posting at least three times a week using a mixture of videos and carousels. I don't personally recommend using still images. Um, that is because if you use carousels, it gets shown in the feed more often because it will show the different images in the carousel. And videos, they tend to be a little bit more engaging. It gives a, a longer story um, for in less time. Um, you also want to make sure you're using those 30 relevant hashtags and again make sure they are small to start off with if it's a new account um, and then you can gradually increase the size um, but do use a mixture of small and medium uh, to start off with. Focus on engagement and value. So your post should be about how you solve a problem for customers, why you are the best, um, the evidence to prove it and driving engagement. So make sure you're asking them questions. Say if you had a, a football shirt business, you could say, do you think we're going to win the league? Uh, comment with your best team below or if it was dog grooming, what's your favorite dog cut? This one, this one, this one. Give them the options in the carousel and let them choose. If it was a cake business, it could be, you know, what's your favorite cake, carrot cake, chocolate cake? Let us know in the comments. This, these are the five content pillars. Um, so this gives you a guideline of the kind of things you can post. Um, again, make sure you're doing sort of carousels two, three times a week. You want to do reels if you can. A reels are not essential, um, but they can help you to grow your business more quickly um, and you can do Instagram TV maybe like once a week um, so entertaining posts you could do giveaways throwbacks memes uh, seasonal holidays things like that um, educational think about tips and tricks um, how to um, frequently ask questions live training you could do with an influencer um, and even free resources uh, conversational, so you can ask questions, fill in the blanks, um, ask for advice, uh, caption this, polls. You do want to be including polls into your stories as well. Um, connection, think about behind the scenes, here I am, uh, packaging up all your orders, product previews. Next week, we're really excited. We've got our new package coming out um, and we want to show you an exclusive preview of what it will be like. Meet the team. Hello, I am Hannah and I'm the director of Pear Tree Marketing. This is what I like. This is what I do. Just little things like that and even favorite businesses. Inspirational, you can add some quotes, amazing facts, client stories, triumphs. Examples could be, uh, we started working with a new client last week and they were really struggling to grow their reach. And within one month, we've grown their reach by over 2,000%. Um, 
um, things like that work really well. Um, scheduling posts and stories can be done directly through your Facebook business manager. Um, it makes life a lot easier. It also gives you uh, tips on what uh, hashtags to use and the optimal times to post. Again, make sure you're using three to five posts. Um, schedule them out for the week. I mean, it's recommended that you maybe make all the posts on a Monday. Schedule them out um, before schedule them out for the whole week um, so you don't have to worry about it you can also schedule your stories which helps a lot uh, make sure you're using polls and questions in your stories where possible um, add your 30 hashtags in and don't forget to go and engage click on the hashtags that you've used go in and comment um, on the top posts um, show some love to the different accounts on there but do make sure that it is genuine um, you can also use Instagram and Facebook shopping if you have products. Um, so just set up your catalogue within Commerce Manager and follow the instructions. Um, this can be really useful for getting more sales through to your website because you can tag your products in your posts, um, making it all a lot easier. You do need to have about 300 followers as a minimum um, to set up the uh, Facebook and Instagram shop and a privacy policy and returns policy. This is only available for products as well um, and do make sure you have a website. If you want to create ads, you can boost posts if it is just a local sort of business and that can work quite well, especially if your audience is quite broad. Um, but the ideal thing that you want to do is set up a pixel. Make sure you do set up Google Tag Manager and Analytics as well so you can analyze your audience um, more effectively. Um, you can also create a custom audience or create a lookalike audience which will be quite similar to the audience already engaging um, and target people who are more likely to buy. Um, you can set up your ad categories, um, you can set up different tests as well, so if you're not sure uh, what heading to put on your ad or you're not sure what image to use or the audience, you can set up the A and B testing which allows you to create different versions of the same ad um, and then Instagram and Facebook will push that out to where you're most likely to see um, conversions. The three different sorts of ads you can do is the brand awareness, so you can do something quite broad if you want to find out more about what sort of um, audience you should be targeting, and then you can connect, um, you can collect the data of the audiences um, that have already gone onto your website. Consideration, so again this all goes into the funnel, um, if this is traffic that maybe has engaged with your brand before, um, but they just need a little bit more information to give them that push to actually buy. And do make sure that wherever they're going to, um, if it's on your website, that you're collecting those email addresses and giving them a reason to share their email, such as 10% off or a free tool that they can use, something like that. And then conversion, so you want to think about maybe people who have already been onto your website um, and you can share... Um, a product that they are likely to be interested in on there. Um, so in terms of growing your audience, just remember that you need to use a mixture of different strategies for growth. Um, you can use hashtags. Um, I've already mentioned the sizes that you should use for the different types of posts. Do make sure you're engaging. Engagement does drive a lot of growth through to your profile um, and it also lets Instagram and Facebook know that you're active. Um, make sure it is genuine. In terms of PR, you can get featured in media publications to drive more traffic through to your website and your social media. Um, there is an excellent website called Help a Reporter. Um, which is um, also shortened to harrow.com. Um, in that, they will send you out all the different articles that these media publications are looking for, so it gives you a chance to get a featured blog. Make sure your website has all the links to your social media that are working effectively. You can also use email marketing. An excellent tool for this is ConvertKit. Um, it's free to use and you can set up segments so they get the first email when they sign up and then um, they get some strategically placed. 
Um, make sure you repurpose your content on other platforms. So if you're already making an Instagram reel, why not repurpose it on TikTok? Or just change the, the ratio and you can put it on YouTube. You can tag it on Pinterest. Just think about other platforms that you can repurpose your content on without too much time, uh, without being too time consuming or costly to you. Think about how we can use influencers. Can you get them to feature on your profile? Can you get them to try your products and do a review? Think about all of that. Um, you can also do collaborations. So other businesses may be similar to yours. For example, if you had a dog grooming business and um, there was a dog walker in your area, you could do a collaboration together to talk about how to create the happiest dog. Um, you can also do live videos. These are going to be featured. Um, they come up first on the Instagram stories. Um, so it's definitely worth doing them. Do make sure they are at peak times. Usually that's between sort of 6 and 8 p.m. Um, it, well, it de definitely in the UK. Um, you can also do reels to get some more reach and ads. We're going to go through Google Ads now. Um, so there are two different types of ads that you want to use. You've got Google Shopping for products only, and then Google Ads for services and products. This is what it looks like. So if you type in birthday cake, these are all the different products that come up under birthday cake. These are Google Shopping ads. Um, so yeah, if you have a product, it's worth being there because it comes in the top of the listings. These are Google ads. So if you're doing a service, Google ads are more useful for you. Um, they come up below, but often it's worth doing both just so you can get some extra reach. And then this is where SEO comes up. So as you can see here, Patisserie Valerie, they've invested in the SEO and into ads. Do make sure you use the right keywords for it. Um, to get some inspiration on what keywords to use, you can just do a Google search on similar businesses and see what comes up down here. But all of this is pointless if your website is not converting because what will happen is all the traffic will go onto your website and then they will leave. So here are some top tips for making sure that your website does convert. Number one, make sure that you add some reviews. You want to prove to your customers that your products are the best and give them that trust to know that it's worth the investment. If you don't have any reviews, then make sure you add a video explaining why the product or service is great, you know, what's to love about it, and then add the reviews later on. Do make sure your your website is mobile friendly. This affects your SEO and also as most customers will be coming through from your social media or whatever platform, it is generally on a mobile device. So make sure your website is responsive. Remove any delivery charges. Nobody likes to go onto a website, they find a product they like, they get to the end and then they realize they've got to pay an extra three pounds or five pounds, whatever it is, just to have it delivered. Since the launch of Amazon, people are conditioned to hate paying for delivery. So do remove them if you can. Make the checkout easy. So it should be just click and buy as easy as possible. Having to go through loads of hoops to check out can really put the shoppers off. And then make sure you include your USPs. Um, so add reasons why they should buy your products, how you've solved problems in the past. Uh, for example, if it was a yoga company, you could include in there, feel, if you're feeling tired and not getting enough street sleep, it could be stress related. We help to relieve stress for our customers, um, helps with healthy weight loss, helps with healthy mindset. Just think about the issues that um, your customers are having and how you help them with all of those. Once they've gone through all of this, you need to make sure they come back. So once they buy a product, send them an exciting offer or a reward to encourage them to return. This could be 10% off your next order of bread or buy five loaves of bread and get the sixth one free. Also, you can encourage them to um, get their friends to buy. So send 40 pounds off to a friend and get them to sign up and you can also get this reward or love our products um, sign up a friend and they can have something for free 
always try and get feedback about your products and services so that you can make improvements and make sure that the entire process is as positive as possible. If you do want some extra help, obviously there's a lot to cover in all of this, so please do email me to book in a free consultation. My email is hannah at peartreemarketing.com. I can help with whatever services you need with relation to marketing and getting more sales in your business. Um, again, here are the contact details um, and our website. You can take a photo of this QR code here if you uh, would like to schedule a one-to-one. -one. Just select the Facebook one-to-one -one and we can go through everything. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will respond. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is Hannah Brera from Pear Tree Marketing and I look forward to hearing from you.